Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl from Rosa Fantasy, and today I'm giving you a colorful pride look. It is Pride Month, so I just wanted to do a pride look because why not? And yeah, I may not be into that, but I mean, it's makeup, so why not? So yeah, um. I decided to go simple nothing too dramatic you know i did something similar to this years ago where i did a helix um theme um but i used glitter instead um this is matte and yeah so let's just, just jump right into the video i've been making moves like a ninja i could play it cool like i'm winter Make it rain like a cash tsunami You wanna slip and slide, we can link up Brows are already done, so we mean business So we're jumping straight into the ass So, we take in a POE's base in room number 3 And we, you know, base my eyelids Making sure we don't have a blank canvas for eyeshadow And I'm gonna be setting it today, yes? So just using some translucent powder to do this so now taking my shop miss a um violet shade blue palette i'm taking that um uh, gray shade to start off with that in my crease transition area like i'm just creating a shape with this all right i'm using a fluffy brush um i wanted it to be like a grayish kind of vibe so yeah i'm just showing you the different brush that i'll be using so that's the first brush that i use and then the white one that's what i'm going to be using for my uh my lips so i'm taking that um it's a very light purple almost white like off white and i'm putting that right um where there was no shadow and yeah i'm just putting that right there um no rhyme or reason i just was dipping into makeup so doing that so all right i'm going in with that shade and i wanted that little um, graduation in between both colors and i'm using the same fluffy brush that i did for the first one so i'm putting that right at the edge between the both the colors and i'm you know gotta go back in with the colors to in intensify them to that um because at times in blending you can lose um some of that color now going in with a um, liquid liner, any liquid liner will do, or gel liner, and I'm just creating a wing, because why not? We're doing a helix, so we're doing a wing, all right? So my eye was running water, so I kept going back and forth with that. So now we got to make our um, liner dry down, and because my eyes were running water, I decided to use a gel liner in the inner tear duct area all right now this um white right here it is my jumbo mix pencil i had to depot it because i never had anything to sharpen it at a time so i just took it out and put it in that container i'm using a lip brush to create the um the ribbon this wrap around thingy all right so I started on top and I'm going on the wing liner and when I curve to come back up I skip it and I go on top and make that curve go through I'll go on top of the liner again because this is like it's like mimicking you wrapping like a piece of string or a ribbon around your finger or your arm or something and this is what it mimics so yeah um I'm just creating this uh, with the lip brush um, and make sure to flatten the brush before you do it because listen to me when I tell you this going around coming over under above curve <laughs> Woo, it was a challenge to do this but um i got through it i got through it i got through it so i wanted to thicken the line a little bit i wanted to be a little bit fat so that's what i'm doing right here and making sure that everything is situated i made a boo-boo i made a mistake so i'm just taking a little bit of what was left of the concealer and um fixing the mistake so i'm now using my louis diamond um pigments and uh, i'm just going over so it's pride month so we're gonna do rainbow so i'm taking the pink then i'm going in with orange 
then um i never had the lime green so i went to moon glow and i used um um the lime green from the moon glow cosmetics line all right and then i did that so i went to pink orange um neon yellow lime green there's it right there and then blue i think yeah so um the brush that i used um i think this was a small detailing brush i don't even remember because um it was a set and i don't even i don't really use it that much but yeah i it, it came in handy for this job right here all right so there you go so i'm just you know taking away all that um excess because you know we don't want we, we don't want that mess so now i'm going back in with the black liner and i'm just making sure that i clean up whatever boo boo i made you know yeah whatever mistake i made and i'm making sure that it's well sharp okay okay so after doing all of this um it's time for the face portion um i will not be talking through the face portion because i have a detail um matte based foundation routine on my channel already so you can go check that out so i'm gonna be playing some music and you can just watch
I know you're waiting till the morning comes my bed I just wanna be alone to feel free tonight Told you so many times Don't wanna look back till I break your heart What I feel inside It burns me out Isn't she wonder how I leave you There's no tears, tears my love Moment conversation and tonight I don't wanna be alone to take the brain myself for just so many times but never look back to So going back in with the milk liner and I'm putting that on my waterline because we need something tacky to put the pigment on when I'm going to do it right now to do my lower lash line. Okay? So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm using the same lip brush that I used earlier to create the, the wraparound thingy. So now I'm taking um, the purple pigment and I'm just putting that in my what's that out of corner yeah out of corner um then I'm gonna go in with a dark blue then I'm going to go in with a light blue all right um the light blue I took from the um plain and makeup by Yolando jam rock palette that it's a matte palette um and listen that palette I swear by it it's <gasps> phenomenal i need like 20 of them <laughs> i'm kidding but yeah um so yeah i'm just putting that purple pigment down and i'm bringing this like almost halfway yeah all right so yeah so remember the brush that i used to apply the neon on the wing yeah that's the same brush i'm using right now to apply the all that you just dip it in wipe it off and go back in again wipe it off and then i use a um a small very small blending brush 
to just you know blend them together and i also use this brush to blend them together as well i mean listen it works for me so it will work for you too all right you don't need to have like one million and, and one um different kind of brushes for different colors yeah it's good but listen this works for me so if it ain't broke why well, fix it anyway so yeah um i ended up deciding like listen it was like looking a little bit dull so i dipped into a yellow i think the yellow is a neon yellow from the um, jam rock palette and i put it underneath and then oh, i was like wow yes this makes a difference so yeah so i'm going in with that purple and i'm gonna deepen the um the purple that i the pigment purple so i just went like right on top of my lash line with that you know just for a little depth and yeah i, I just like how it was coming together yeah i also used the pigment so i started off with the yellow from the jam rock and then i used the pigment and you know tied everything in so now it's time for the lips and as usual I needed a nude lip, but I wanted it to be a bit darker. So this is a um, very dark brown pencil. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but um, yeah, it's fine. So I'm just lining my lips with this, and then I'm gonna go in the middle with a LA color, LA girl, yeah, LA girl lipstick. I forgot the name, which shade it is, but it's like a, it's like a light pinkish shade, and I put it in the middle, and of course, you know, uh little bit of did i do this gloss i think i used gloss yeah so there it is yeah i'm just gonna it's a bullet looks like i just put it in the middle i don't know why i stopped using this but the formula of this is so creamy and nice and uh, look look at it look at my lips they're so gorgeous and you know whatever transfer that was left on it i just wiped it off on my back of my hand and went back in and you know we got to intensify it so we're gonna go back in with the pencil and make sure everything is blended yes we are mm -hmm. so it's time to spray my face i'm using a i think i got this from from the drugstore the dollar store or something like that i thought i was i messed my face up but it was a lash <laughs> It was a lash. So I spray my face and then just patting it down. And I'm going to be using my fan. I'm going to fan my face to dry. Because we're going to put some um, highlighter on. Alright. So I'm going to do with this highlighter right here. It, it I got this highlighter from Shop Miss A. One of the quads. Yeah. And I'm just putting highlighter where I feel like. Okay. And I'm going in with the holographic gloss. Right in the middle. Just right in the middle. To give it some like. Mwah, yeah. And i got to go in with my. I ended up adding some rhinestones in the inner corner because I wanted them to dazzle, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Thank you guys for staying tuned to the end. I hope you like my pride inspired makeup. Um, yeah. So, I've been losing subscribers. I don't know why. Um, I've been discouraged because. I really like doing YouTube and I wish that I could grow a little bit faster and stuff like that but um, I'm not really doing it for the money I'm doing it because I really love creating content and filming so yeah um, I'll be fine um, so yeah uh, please like the video um, share it because sharing is caring and Leave a comment down below because I love hearing from you. And follow me on all my socials. Instagram, Snapchat, um, TikTok, Threads, Facebook. And until next time, bye beauty.